Today I'm going to revisit an application that I reviewed back in December of 2019. The application is called Kamudu. Kamudu is a remote control and monitoring program for your Sony Alpha cameras. Uh, it's really a great little app. It was great in 2019, but now it's even more useful. So we're going to talk about some of the features of Kamudu, and I'm going to show you um, some of the screenshots and things that I didn't show you last time. In the last video, I told you a little bit about the author of the program, and I'm going to play that clip for you right now. The guy that wrote the, the Kamudu app is named Stefan Conrad. He's uh, not a kid that uh, just got out of school and wrote an app. He's a 40-year-old computer professional, a professional software developer. His hobby's photography, so he was really interested in producing an application that was better uh, than the one that the Sony Imaging app uh, provides. I mostly use my Komodo app with video. Uh, it also works really well with photography, but my main use for it is in video. Komodo allows me to have a camera set up uh, and I can control it from a distance, so it's like having an extra cameraman around. It's pretty handy. My little A5100s are really old, and some of the features don't work anymore, like touch to focus, but it does work on the newer cameras, I think A6000 and up. The opening screen for Komodo allows you to set up the camera. Actually, you can set up multiple cameras with a password or a QR code. It's really handy. I'm not sure how many cameras you can set up, but I've got two set up on mine and it works just fine. Also, the connectivity is good. I always had a problem with Imaging Edge. It never connected. I'd fight it to connect and it just didn't do well at all. And this one connects really easily. I've not had a big problem with it at all. Occasionally, if I do have a problem, I just restart everything and hit the button and it all uh, works fine, no problem. The application saves everything to a gallery, and just like an Imaging Edge, you can use that gallery to share your videos with social media or uh, whatever you need to do with it. It makes it really easy. I don't use the gallery much. I usually just take uh, my memory card out and upload my videos to my editing software. That's the easiest for me. In Komodo, you have a lot of settings that you can uh, use with your camera. You can tell it where uh, in your file system that you want to store your previews. Uh, it'll store up to the number of previews that you put in there. And then after that, it starts deleting them in a, in a rolling fashion so uh, you don't fill up your camera with previews. It also has a timer so that you can stop recording at a certain time or a certain length of time. And a lot of other features that make it uh, really easy uh, to manage your video shooting. You also have some lens correction that you can do with Komodo uh, in case you have a wide angle lens maybe that uh, has a little barrel distortion, things like that, you can correct it in Komodo. Uh, the calculations and things that Komodo makes for its functions are done in the Komodo app and not on the camera. So you should get really good uh, results from using these features. Well, I guess what I'm saying to sum it up is that Komodo lets you do just about everything you can do on your camera, off your camera with your smartphone. It's really great. You've got histograms, you've got zebras, uh, you can do interval, uh, interval shooting, uh, you can set up your slow-mo, you can do all kinds of things as long as your camera is capable of doing it. It doesn't actually add a lot of features to your uh, shooting, but it does let you control the ones you have. If your camera doesn't have a feature, then it's not going to show up on Komodo either. The good news now is that uh, Stefan is upgrading the application, uh, increasing the number of Sony cameras that uh, will be available, and also is uh, making the application work with some other cameras like Canon. So the growth uh, of this app and its abilities uh, is continuing. Ever since uh, 2019, Stefan's been improving the app, and I've had the good fortune of being able to use it uh, and enjoy the features. One of the things that concerned me when I was trying to use Komodo as a monitor 
um, actually I was using it as an on-camera monitor, uh, was lag. But I've seen some of the uh, inexpensive on-camera monitors that have more lag than Komodo. So it really works good for that too. I think you'll find it uh, very useful as an on-camera monitor or as a remote monitor and remote control. And while you're shooting, you have your histograms and zebras and everything. So it's really good for that. Well, I certainly hope you'll download and try Komodo if you have a Sony Alpha camera. It's really a great little app, and uh, even the free version offers a lot of features. The pro version, of course, offers quite a bit more. I uh, hope you'll look at it too. It's not an expensive program. It's always updated. So I think you'll enjoy uh, using it, and I think it'll add a lot to your photographic experience. This is JR, the Tex Patent Saigon, saying thank y'all for watching.